If you want to be putting AI agents into production, I think one of the most important things you can realize is when you have to take control and when you should be handing decisions over to AI. Because AI agents are the thing at the moment. Every bug is deploying them. So we really should get into what one is and how I think you should construct them. Now, I'm actually going to do some long form video about this at some point because, um, spoiler alert, I think you should use Langraph or something extremely like it. I haven't come up with a good alternative to this yet, but I really like Langraph. The bit I don't like about Langraph is the documentation. It's not good. So we should contribute to that ecosystem with tutorials and things like that. However, that is for another time because I think one of the strongest things you can do with Langraph is you can figure out when you should take control over an agent's process and when you can leave it to itself. Fundamentally, to hand wave AI agents for you, what happens in them is the thing that you would do if you were doing a particularly complicated task. You give a large language model a problem statement and then you ask it to write down a plan to deal with that problem statement and then you give it the tools to execute that plan. Yeah, that's broadly what's going on. So when you have something like N8N or Copilot agents, what you're doing is you're getting an out of the box agent. It's got its own prompt, it's got its own memory, it's got its own like instruction set, and you give it tools and a problem and it goes off to the races. I think you should be using this, Langraph, because in Langraph, you have to roll all of that yourself, but you have way more control. Allow me to show you. So if you have to do something like reading from a SQL table to get some insights into the data that's actually in it, this is approximately the graph that you would need in order to be able to do that. You need to connect to the database, you need to list out the tables, you need to pick a table, you need to write some SQL, you need to check that that SQL is valid, and if it isn't, go back, and then you actually like do the SQL. Only a couple of these steps actually need you to have a large language model doing something. So you need it to write the SQL. Sure, you probably want to check the SQL, though there are some additional libraries that you might want to check that SQL for as well. And, and maybe you need it to pick a table. With Langraph, you can automate all of the rest of it. 